بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ود ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ٹاپکس آف دا کورس از واٹ دی اپلیکیشن آف دا زینو ڈائی آؤٹ اینڈ دیٹ از دی وولٹیج ریگولیٹر سرکٹ اپلیکیشن ان دا سینس دیٹ دا زینو ڈائی آؤٹ ووڈ بی امپلائڈ ان دا سرکٹ فائن یس سو لیٹ اس گیو دی ہیڈنگ وولٹیج ریگولیٹر سرکٹ وولٹیج ریگولیٹر نا واٹ ڈز دس مین واٹ از ریگولیشن voltage regulator circuit so regulation means to maintain the output voltage as constant regulation is what to maintain the output voltage that is regulated output constant output so regulator this means what that we have a regulated output we have a regulated output and the regulated output means what that we have a constant output and the constant output means what that this will have a same value a constant value irrespective of changes in the circuit and what are those changes so we will see irrespective of changes in the circuit and these changes you will see with the time maybe in this video we'll, so this video will try to keep a general video an introductory one then the different cases we'll see in the next videos separately so first of all first of all uh, we have what we have let me draw the circuit first so the circuit is that first of all you will have over here is a voltage source that is v and what is it represented by it's a v input this is a v input source you have a resistor r now this resistor r could be a current limiting resistor or it could be the internal resistance of the source which means what in any of the case this would be Uh, a smaller value as compared to the load resistor which I'm showing over here and this is RL and the output would be taken from RL let's say a plus minus output voltage this is a plus minus or whatever it is you can understand this now this diode over here is not a simple diode this is a zener diode and the potential I would represent it the zener potential I represented by a VZ by a vz so this is a general voltage regulator circuit and what does this regulated output mean this means that this output voltage would be a constant value would remain constant in any case if we play along with this circuit and how can we play is by varying the input voltage by varying the load resistance by varying the load the, the load yes the other parameters would be constant of course the zero potential would be constant the series resistance would be constant and this resistance I have told is what it's either the internal resistance of the source or is it is the current limiting resistance in any case in either case this R is less than RL yes yes now depending on the constant voltage the constant output voltage we would have two cases depending on the constant output voltage we can have two cases and they are what they are over here the first one is the load regulation the load regulation this is called a load regulation and the second one that is called the line regulation so what is the phenomena in load regulation you have the load variable so rl is variable and the output is a constant and we will consider the input voltage as constant as well and similarly in the line regulation what do you have you have the input voltage as variable whereas the load resistance is constant and and these two would still the the thing would be that the output would be constant so changes in the circuit would not affect the constant output voltage so yes yes next thing the important thing is the breakdown of the zener 
diode. Break down of the zener diode. So, in the previous video, we've seen in the introductory video that when will the diode enter into the breakdown region? There were three regions. The first was the forward bias, the same cut in voltage, the same battery potential, right? The next was the same as the pin junction that was what? The, the saturation current was flowing, the reverse saturation current. And the third region is when the zener diode break down and we have a flow of current. So that region is attained where? That region is attained when the input voltage becomes greater than the zener potential. When the input voltage becomes greater than the zener potential, the zener diode goes to breakdown state goes to a breakdown state now that I told you over there was input directly greater than VZ the zener diode goes to breakdown that I told you from the characteristics directly that we saw from the characteristics directly the thing is what happens is this may or may not be correct this equation why you can see from the circuit you can see it very clearly that the voltage across the zener diode is not the voltage input it's not the input voltage yes yes so which means which makes this which makes this formula wrong this condition wrong which makes this condition wrong so what do you have what do you have the thing is, we will see, you will have to determine the state of the diode first by seeing the potential across it. As we saw in the previous cases, with the simple PN junction diode, first you have to determine the state of the diode. By how to determine the state? By knowing the voltage across it. And then you know the conditions by knowing the voltage across it. So have a look, have a look. In this case, in this case, what is the voltage across the zener diode? This is in parallel with the load resistance, which means the V output is the is the is the uh, is the zener potential. We output is the potential across the zener diode, which means that in order for the diode to break down, the output voltage should be greater than Vz. The output voltage should be greater than the zener potential. And you can see that that was, was wrong. Isn't it like this? It is. And we output is what? We output. What is we output? You apply the Thevenin theorem. I don't know the Thevenin theorem. I do not know the other. What is that? the Norton theorem? I don't know these things. By name, I don't know. What do you have to do? The state of the diode. So you apply an open circuit over here. You apply the open circuit. You find the voltage across it. So what is the thing? Basically, I'm telling you is that this. Let's say. For instance, this. This you have open circuited. Right? So what do you have to find out is the voltage V over here and which is for of course equal to the, the this voltage so let's say this is a v input this this is an r let's say this is a the the rl and a current flows in the circuit and the current is named as as i for instance so we, if you could apply the kvl to the loop so you have a negative to positive v input then you have a you would have a minus minus vr or i times r Let's say I times R. Let's say I times R. And then minus I times RL. So this is equal to zero. Yes. So we are basically finding the value of the current. So input voltage is equal to I times R plus RL. And this implies what? That the current is equal to the input voltage divided by r plus rl this would be the current in the circuit now what are we basically finding we are basically finding the voltage across this load resistance plus minus output voltage or you could also see this is equal to v which is the voltage across the open circuit i'm finding out the voltage across the diode so which means v which is equal to the output voltage is i times rl which means that this is equal to v i rl divided by r plus rl 
you know the voltage divider rule you can do it directly you could have seen so which means the output voltage has become equal to what or this thing the output voltage is this thing so this thing should be greater than the zener potential so which means what that vi rl divided by r plus rl this should be greater than the zener potential in order for the zener diode to break down yes yes so you can just check the value of input voltage from here v input is greater than r plus rl times r plus rl times divided by r l and into vz so if this is the case the input voltage is greater than this value then what would happen the zener diode will break down now why did I write this and why did I say this in the previous video and mostly it is written in the books we see it mostly not this is correct this is correct but why did I say this was wrong and for the wrong I also presented a reason over here yes I told you that the voltage across the zener diode should be the input voltage should be greater than the voltage across the zener diode Vz yes but Vz was not over here directly that was present the voltage across the zener diode was output voltage it was not input voltage right so so i presented my reason yes yes but now i will prove that this is also right and this is also right and how is that how is that so in the beginning of the video i told you that this r is a current limiting resistor r is the current limiting resistor or it is the internal resistance of the source in either case in either case this r becomes way less than way less than the load resistance in either case for instance this is a 10 ohm this is a 100 ohms less than not 100 this would be a kilo ohms so r is way less than rl so if r is way less than rl this means that r plus rl is approximately again equal to rl and again this would imply what that this implies what that r plus rl divided by rl would be approximately equal to one and have a look i get my formula back that the input voltage should be greater than the zener potential yes yes so the thing is you have to keep this in mind you have to keep this in mind right yes i hope that it is clear yeah, these are easy things these are some very uh, you know uh, good uh, interesting things yes yes so say for example for example i say that uh, my input voltage is let's say uh, input voltage is a 15 volts 15 volts the zener potential is let's say a 10 volts and then i have the the resistance that is the series resistance is 1 kilo ohms and also the load resistance is a 1 kilo ohms now i want to confuse you guys if you see directly if you see directly and you use the assumption you use the general you use the simplified formula and you say that v input is greater than vz so you would see from here that 15 volts is greater than 10 volts so the diode has breakdown you can see it yes but this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong why because you need to keep in mind you need to keep in mind this condition that the series resistance is way less than rl but have a look over here if that is the case you can say it directly like this if that's not the case you get into wrong things you get into wrong things and what happens over here is you have to use the formula the basic formula which means r plus rl which means one plus one would be a two kilo ohm two kilo ohms again divided by one kilo ohm so you get a two kilo ohms and then you have it div uh, multiplied by uh, so kilo kilo gets out kilo kilo gets out so two 
and that's multiplied by the vz which is which is a 10 volts which is a 10 volts so which means that the input voltage should be greater than this which means that the input voltage should be greater than 20 volts in order for the zener diode to break down and over here have a look the input voltage is 15 volts which means that zener diode has not break down yes yes that is it so that is it When you have a no load condition, no load condition means what? When you have no current in the circuit, okay? No load means you have no current. This does not mean that you have no load. This does not mean that you have no resistance. Fine. So the no load condition, no load condition implies what? That RL is infinity, which means that IL is zero. And in this case, if this is RL is infinity, so this is, this would become zero and V input should be simply greater than VZ. If RL is infinity, so V input should be greater than zero, I believe, or whatever it is. V input should, v input should be greater than VZ in this case. Because I have a look over there, this would be a short circuit. So this would directly come over here. Anyways, so I believe this is an enough introduction and I see you in the next video where you have what? Where we see these cases of regulations separately. Line regulation in a separate video, load regulation in a separate video. The thing is that you have understood what? You have understood the topic of voltage regulator. The main circuit is like this. And why is it used? So this is used to maintain a constant output. Now you've seen when you uh, when you turn on your AC air conditioner in summers, uh, not in this weather, of course, today is freezing cold. Anyways, so when you turn on your air conditioner or heavy load, you could say, so what happens, what you see is that the, that the light intensity become lower. Yes? your normal tube light or, or in, uh, this what are LEDs or whatever it is so they become lower yes yes and if you turn on a second AC a second so further lower there is a dip in the voltage there is a dip in the voltage and to, to reduce this thing we, we, we study the topic of voltage regulation right to maintain the output voltage constant yes yes so this is major majorly a topic of the uh, the what the power electronics over there one day we will see power electronics in a greater detail over there we see that the voltage regulation is full load minus no load divided by full load multiplied 100 percent is the voltage regulation right over here just an introductory topic just to let you know what is it to maintain a constant output if for instance from the electronics course point of view if you say so we saw that we had a signal and then we passed it out you had a signal you you gave it your rectifier so a rectifier gave you what a rectifier gave you a dc value right the dc value now the dc value is given to a a a what a filter a filter so it further would, would would do it what would smoothen it and then what do you have it to, to, to make it a completely DC value you, you give it to a voltage regulator circuit so it would give you a completely DC value for instance if you say like this so if this was your sinusoidal value you gave it to the rectifier so this became like this right yes now you give it to your filter so it would further reduce the ripples it would become like this and finally you give it to the regulator so it would become like this you can understand it in this particular way over here anyways see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye